As EU lawmakers Tibet today are debating a major revamp to migration laws, if passed, the bill will harden entry procedures for asylum seekers. To tell us a bit more, Douglas Herbert is with me now here in the studio. And look, this deal is due to be voted on in several hours' time. The debate's ongoing at the moment. Um, and the text that we're talking about has been years in the making. There have been lots of changes to it. So what exactly does it aim to achieve and what measures would it codify into EU law? What's, what's in the bill, right? Yeah. Well, first of all, um, it, this is a product, like you said, three years in the making, and it comes at a time in the past months and years where we have seen anti-immigrant sentiment. Uh, you could call it migrant mm -hmm. bashing in many corners of Europe and not just Europe, throughout the world. Um, Anti-migration rhetoric in politics has become the flavor of the day. European Union migration policy has been, in many cases, uh, at best a shambles, at worst a basket case. And they've been trying to get a harmonized policy, and they've been under a tremendous pressure, especially from the far right, uh, for, for whom uh, migrant bashing and anti-immigrant rhetoric has become sort of their stock in trade. Mm -hmm. And that's become even more urgent ahead of European elections, where the far right is expected to make gains. What this aims to do, and I have to say aims to achieve, is to sort of make, share the burden a little more with migration. A lot of the countries in, in Europe's south, notably Spain, Italy, Greece, they complain, they say they're taking all the floods of migrants, they all flood in first to their countries, they're having an unfair burden. They want it to be more distributed, evenly distributed. So the aim is to more evenly distribute, allocate migrants across the European Union's uh, members, and at the same time also to more evenly distribute the costs of uh, taking on, of accepting migrants. And along the way, if in, if, if, if in the, uh, along with the package, you also placate the far right mm -hmm. and appease them, all the better. Uh, this would make it specifically easier to deport failed asylum seekers. It would also be uh, make it easier to limit their ability to enter, the entry into the block in the first place. Um, it would give the governments a sense of greater control, that they have control over their borders, and would also give the European Union as a supranational, supranational body a sense of greater say in migration policy. It's far from clear, though, Doug, that the vote will pass today. Tell us who's objecting to it and why. Yeah, everyone everywhere, mm. uh, essentially. Uh, across a political spectrum for different reasons. You might be able to guess this without me even saying it, right? On the far right, predictably, they're saying it does not go far enough, mm -hmm. that you need to have even tighter borders, tighter controls, tighter regulations as to who can enter and how they actually get uh, asylum claims done. Some would like to see no migrants at all. On the far left, they say that this actually contravenes the right of migrants, the international right to protection. Uh, it puts too much of the onus, almost turns the migrants uh, into predators and, and treats them like criminals when they're nothing of the such. So for the left, the bill um, is, is already way too hard. So this is why I said it is the the product, the fruit of a very hard-fought compromise over the past years. I will note this. There are three main political, the top political groupings in the European Parliament, the EPP, the European People's Party, uh, the, the Socialists and Democrats, and the Renew Party, the Centrist Party. In theory, they all back it. The problem is the national delegations from e within each of those parties, in some cases, may not back it, which is why leaders from out throughout the EU, including Emmanuel Macron, have been scrambling, have been working the phones in the past 24 hours to try to shore up the votes for this. It is a nail-biter right down to the wire a little less than an hour from now. All right, we'll see what happens. Thank you very much indeed, Douglas Herbert, for now. We appreciate it.